is the recession ending. The Federal Reserve has said the recession is starting to end. The central bank has stopped well short of declaring victory, but it is said that the downturn appears or could be starting to hit bottom and that consumer spending, financial markets, and inventory building by businesses are starting perhaps to stabilize. Still though, the Fed has cautioned that the recovery will be slow and could pick up speed only gradually in 2010, perhaps if all goes well. And unemployment is also likely to continue to climb and remain high through the next year. And unemployment is the key. Once again, no jobs creation, no real economic recovery. Because it goes like this. People who lose their job, then they don't have money to pay their bills. And then the people that they owe, then those people don't have enough money to pay their bills. It's like a feedback loop or spiraling outward. The European economy has bounced back with some unexpected strength in the second quarter after contracting sharply at the beginning of the year. This improvement puts Europe roughly on par with the United States, but many economists say they expect Europe to fall behind over the next year because of lagging efforts to repair a damaged banking system in key countries like Germany and, once again, sharply rising unemployment, the feedback loop. Still, France and Germany, the continent's largest economy, saw their economies grow a little, balancing out weaker performances in Italy and Spain, Eastern Europe, however, particularly in Hungary and the Baltics, remains deeply depressed or troubled. Russia's economy, which has declined more than any major economy during this recession, appears to have stabilized somewhat, new government figures show. But the country's economy all but skidded to a halt last winter, when global demand for its oil and other commodity exports dried up. Russia was also hurt as companies defaulted on debt acquired before the credit bubble burst, and as investors fled the country, in part because of the war in Georgia last summer. Still, like they say, it could have been worse. Oil prices have bounced back somewhat, and Russia has been able to tap some of its huge foreign currency and gold reserves for now at least. And Asia appears to be on track for a recovery that could outpace those of Europe and the United States. New economic data suggests. Economists pointed to unexpectedly good corporate earnings, new hiring, and a stock market rally. Asia's export-dependent economies suffered very badly when consumers and companies in the United States and Europe curtailed purchases. The governments in Asia have spent heavily to lift up their economies. Banks there had also avoided the complex financial instruments that hurt Western banks. Still though, exports remain weak 
and a downturn in the West or drop in Asia stocks could once again drag down the economy. This is possible. And for all the optimism that things may be improving, consumers aren't opening, opening up their wallets yet. Earnings reports from retailers have showed so retail spending remains far below that of a year ago in virtually every single category. And what's worse, it appears that consumers are likely to keep their wallets closed for the back to school shopping season, a crucial time for retailers. And then the holiday season is coming up. And that doesn't look very good either. Because Consumers in the U.S., United States, they account for roughly two-thirds of the spending of the economy. So if consumers don't spend, then there also will be no real economic recovery. Just like with the jobs. Economists say high unemployment and stagnant wage growth are likely to keep shoppers cautious even if other parts of the economy could begin to improve. So without the consumer the economy will not have any kind of a typical recovery. Actually it won't really be able to recover at all will it? And will grow very very slowly if at all for a long time said one economist. So once again, this is very important. No jobs growth, no real economic recovery. Because at least 6.7 million jobs have been lost in the U.S. since the recession, depression, whatever you have you call it, has begun. And if those jobs don't come back, then you really can't have an economic recovery because of all that money or spending that has been lost and a lot of those jobs they might have been permanently lost because the United States doesn't manufacture things like it used to and that too is dragging down the economy a lot of things are dragging down the economy and it is a worldwide economic crisis. And for another thing, greed, pure greed, has brought this all upon us. Greed is or has destroyed, this is destroying the economies of the world, especially in the U.S. Nobody should receive a bonus of $100 million. That is too much. At any time, and especially in a recession or depression, or whatever you want to call it. And there's something more going on here, something much bigger. Everything that must change must change quickly or rapidly. Real change must happen. And these are more signs of the end times. Transition days. The transition is happening. Ongoing. Every day all around the world. 